insects, but you might have a parasite. I'm Belinda Kate Patrick. I'm a naturopath and a nutritionist, and I've got over 17 years of clinical experience. You guessed it, today we're going to be chatting about parasites, how to know if you've got one, and parasite cleansing. So most importantly, what to do about it. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at The Happy Mammoth, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any more videos like these. Okay, so parasites. What is a parasite? Surprisingly, lots and lots of people actually do have parasites in their digestive system. Now, some of them can be identified and some of them are more difficult to identify. Some of them can create real havoc on your digestive system though. So I guess, how do you know if you've got one? So some of the common symptoms, and you might be surprised because they're not just gastrointestinal symptoms. So some of the gut symptoms, uh, which often are there though, it might be bloating, diarrhea, constipation, like a stabbing feeling. Quite often people wake up in the night with a stabbing feeling, irritable bowel syndrome, feeling super gassy. People can also have painful muscles and joints, sleep issues, grinding teeth. So lots of kids often it's a grinding teeth during sleep that alerts their parents to the fact they might have parasites. Skin issues so like rashes or hives, rosacea, eczema. Fatigue is a big one, so lack of energy and exhaustion. So the parasites can affect the absorption of your nutrients. So things like um, iron deficiency might be a problem there as well. They can also affect your mood. So it may be anxiety and depression, but quite often irritability and moodiness are associated with um, having a parasite. Now, if you suspect that you have a parasite, it's a good idea to go and get from your GP. Um, in Australia, these are free to do or their Medicare kind of test, which basically are looking at do you have one of the most common types of parasites? Now, when you get these tests done, they're only testing for about four, five or six parasites. So if you come up clean and you have some of those symptoms, it doesn't mean you don't have one. However, if you do come up with them, then you know that you do. Now, some of us will actually carry parasites but have none of these symptoms. And at the moment, you know, if you're not having any symptoms but you happen to just find out because you got tested, because somebody in your family got tested, for example, and they had one, then quite often it is worth doing a bit of a sort of gentle naturopathic parasite cleanse, but I wouldn't go too far down the medical path because your body may just be able to kind of like handle having it there. If you come up with a parasite though and you are getting these symptoms, it is really important that it does get eliminated so that it doesn't affect your medium and long-term health. In Australia, two of the most common parasites that we see are Diantamoeba fragilis and also Blastocystis hominis as well, um, and lots of people do have these parasites. There's other ones that you can look at as well um, that would be involved getting a complete digestive stool analysis, which often costs two, three, four hundred dollars and can be done with a naturopath. Um, so that's something if you really want to identify a little bit more, you can look at getting all that stuff done. It's quite fun. It's very expensive. Fun for like, you know, nerds like me, <laughs> um, gut health nerds, um, because it also can often show you the types of different good bacteria that you've got, which types of probiotics are there so that you know exactly what's going on in your digestive system. So if you have been identified with a parasite or you're like, no, I've got some of those symptoms, I'm pretty sure I do. I do just want to do a bit of a parasite cleanse anyway, a bit of a gut kind of detox. Then what we're wanting to be doing is altering our diet to make it more favorable for good bacteria and less favorable for parasites. Now, unfortunately, parasites like all the fun stuff. So, you know, what we want to do if we want to kill them off is to avoid sugar, alcohol, coffee, processed grains. So those ones I feel like come up with absolutely everything, don't they? But it's really important that we basically starve the parasite of its, of its preferred food source and take those foods out. So what are we eating? Making sure you're getting a your good quality protein, so meat, chicken, fish, eggs, nuts, seeds, lots of fresh vegetables. We want to have minimal processed grains, minimal fruit, so some of the low GI fruits like berries and cherries or fruit in moderation. Um, so you don't want to take out heaps of good foods, but at the same time, if you're eating heaps of fruit, that can often be a source of food for the parasite as well. There's also other foods that can be used to really support a parasite cleanse. So things like pumpkin seeds, garlic, onion, pomegranate, the seeds of the pomegranate, apple cider vinegar, 
coconut oil, herbs and spices, so things like oregano, basil, turmeric. So you really want to load your diet with those sort of anti-parasite foods and minimize some of the foods like the processed grains, sugars, alcohol, that really might be um, promoting or feeding the parasites that you don't want to be there. You can also be taking the gut detox package to really support your parasite cleanse. So this is basically giving you that complete gut detoxification symptoms. So you're getting the three products in this one, which is the Ketone Energy Pro 4, the Digestive Super Cleanse, and the Vital Digestive Enzymes. So this formula, these kind of three things together work synergistically. It means that they work better together to gently flush away sludge out of the digestive system. It helps to prevent bloating and weight gain, so it really breaks down the foods, ramps up the fat burning. The, the ketones that help to ramp up the fat burning are also helping you to reduce that need for carbohydrates. They're working and you'll often lose weight on this diet in a really kind of like healthy and safe way. But these sort of ones together are basically making it really favorable for your good bacteria to stay whilst also helping to annihilate any parasites and bad bacteria. So if you're not 100% sure what's in there, maybe it's candida, maybe it's an overgrowth of bad bacteria or what we call dysbiosis, or maybe there is actually a parasite there, this package, this gut detox package, will actually work really nicely for all of those conditions or all of those um, sort of um, issues. And also the diet that I mentioned makes a big difference as well. Don't forget to add the water in. So it's really important that you're really cleansing and flushing everything through. Like I said, adding apple cider vinegar can be great. Adding lemon into the water can be great. And don't forget to add your prebiotic and probiotic foods. So things like sauerkraut, kefir, kvass, fermented vegetables, yogurts, those things can be really good for helping to support the good bacteria, which will then help to make it really uncomfortable for the parasite or the bad bacteria to stay. So I hope this helped you understand about parasites, how to identify them, what are some of the symptoms that you might be getting with them, and then most of all, how to help eliminate them. If you've eliminated a parasite, please let us know in the comments below, because we'd love to hear your story of how you managed to knock that one out, um, and then we can all learn from from each other. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.